Hi everyone, I'm Vanessa Mishani here at Corinna Cravens. We are in Corinna's kitchen and today we are working with oysters. We're gonna make some grilled oysters. So this mm -hmm. is a Cajun favorite of mine. My family's from Louisiana, mm -hmm. I'm French Creole. I love that spice combo, those oh, yeah. flavors. It's what I grew up on. So we're gonna make a Cajun style butter and I'm just taking approximately half a cup of butter. Okay. So then we're gonna put in two tablespoons of pesto. This is my homemade pesto. Use any pesto you like. Next, I'm gonna grab some Tony Sacheries, and this is like the Cajun seasoning. All right. Um, to make authentic Cajun food, you really, really, really need this. I absolutely believe that. You can get this at our grocery stores here too. It's a very common seasoning. Really? But I'm gonna put in one teaspoon. That's cayenne? This is cayenne. I'm gonna do like a little over a quarter of a teaspoon. So now that my butter's melted, I'm just gonna turn it off. I just wanted to get it to melt it. I don't wanna cook my basil. It's really the purpose is just to melt it and get everyone mingle and then mm -hmm. let it chill, right? Yep, last but not least, I'm gonna add my garlic. And there we go, let's go outside. So here we are. I say just get your grill as high as it can possibly go. I'm gonna take my oysters and you wanna find the cup side. So one part's rounded, the other one's flat. Put the round side down. We're gonna pop those right on the grill. All right, and we're gonna close it and let them hang out. They're gonna be in there for three to five minutes. We're just gonna look for them to open a tiny bit and then we'll open them up with our knife. Woo, so we've All got right. some starting to open. Okay, they get really hot, I warn you. So I'm gonna carefully take them one by one, scrape the oyster off the top of the shell, Kind of bend the knife to pop it open and get rid of your shell. You wanna get them all shucked before you put them back on the grill. Shucking oysters can be really hard, but this is, even if you don't know how to shuck an oyster, you can do this because they pop open on their own. Mm -hmm. And it's great because it's a nice, easy kind of like beginner way to just get a little familiar with an oyster, kind of get to look inside. Beautiful. What we're gonna do is we're gonna carefully put them all back on. Okay. And we wanna move kind of fast and you wanna do your best to not spill out the liquor. Okay. And then I'm just gonna go into my butter. We're gonna fill oh, these bad yeah. boys up. All right, we're gonna close this. We're leaving it for one minute and they're done. Ooh, baby. Look at that. So these are ready to go. We're gonna carefully take these. Remember, we're trying not to tip them, which is why I have this filled with salt because it kind of makes like a bed for them to sit up in. Ah, very smart. The smell coming off these is just incredible. Let's dig in. Mmm. So good. So good. I mean, that Cajun seasoning plus the, the the basil from the pesto, like it just brings it up a notch. That heat and that spice. Mm. And like I said, if you don't love raw oysters, right. this is a really one, fun one to attempt. It's very edible, delicious, garlicky. For something easy and upscale and to surprise your friends at your next cookout, definitely give these oysters a try. Thanks for joining us. This has been Vanessa and Karina in the kitchen.